yes guys in this session we are going to see how to set and get the names of a particular thread that is how to set a name and how to retrieve that name for a particular thread right and in earlier session we have seen almost all the very important interview questions and all these things and one more one thing is uh, that is uh, which is the best way to define a thread is by implements runnable interface we have seen that one why because by implementing or by implements runnable interface we can extend the other class also right if we do extend the thread class it is impossible for us to extend the other class right we have seen this one that is what this one if i do if i do extend a class that is if i do extend thread class to define a thread okay then definitely think that in class b i am having one more service like what public void m1 service is there okay and i want to get some data members which are available as part of this particular class b okay i want to get all these data members through inheritance i can get it right now how can i get of course you can go for uh, an instance of uh, b here in this class it is has a relation i want is a relationship thing how we can do that one we cannot do that one so that's why it is always recommended to define a thread by implements by implements runnable interface okay implements runnable interface so that still i can extend other class right it is i mean it is possible right it is what a syntax related thing right we can do it so i can put like this right here extends uh, extends b right now i can get all the inheritance i mean all the properties which are going to get inherit in this class a right which are related to this class b so that's why it is highly recommended to define a thread by implements runnable interface okay i think no need to give much explanation we have done uh, lots of uh, i mean uh, work over this uh, how to define a thread by extends a thread class as well as implements runnable interface now let us go and see what what are the names of a thread how to set the name how to customize the name and how to get the name from the thread okay it is so simple try to focus just for a few seconds okay now our agenda for this session is what name of a thread okay now try to focus guys see we are having some final methods in our thread class what in our thread class so by using those uh, methods we can get the name of a particular thread and also you can i mean you can set the name and also you can get the name what are those method means let me write the prototype what is that public final void set name so argument will be as what string name okay and other one is what to get the name public final string other one is what get name okay so written type will be sorry for argument type will be as nothing for this one okay so we are going to use these two methods in order to get the name of a particular thread and also we can customize the name of a particular thread now let us see one small uh, snippet of code for this one like class a which extends what thread okay now so if it is extending thread means we have to override run method right in order to execute or in order to assign the work to our i mean in order to assign the work which is related to our code that is independent part of our program okay think that in main method we are having some lines of code which are independent there are two parts which are independent to each other in that case if i want to assign that particular independent part of piece of code in my program to new thread means i have to put that one where in run method we have seen this one in great detail we have seen in earlier sessions okay if you are not getting please refer uh, or uh, please brush the earlier sessions once so that you can be very comfort so let it be what is this so run method here okay so if i don't set any name here okay let it be like public static void main okay now i am going to how to i mean how to start that thread just put a is equals to one reference uh, new a so a dot a dot start some 
which method is going to get executed thread class start method implementation is going to get executed here so what is going to get happen internally it will create what a thread and it will register that with the thread scheduler and some external implementations required for the thread is going to be done there and also it is going to call the run method on the underlying object so underlying object type is what a how i am telling based on the constructor we have discussed these things a lot in our earlier sessions so now run method of this class is going to get executed now if i do put here SOP of we are having one static method in a thread class. What is that? Current uh, current uh, thread uh, whose return type is thread. So if I pass that one as an argument for println statement, internally two string method is going to get executed. It will give what that particular thread name. So thread current. Okay. So it will give what? Of course, it will give the name, but which name it will give? It will give the default name which has been assigned by the JVM. So, what will be the thread name here? Thread 0. Definitely, it will be as what? Thread 0. The default name starts with a 0, okay, and it ends with, I mean, uh, till how many threads you are uh, defining, that many threads it will be having. Like if you define 10 threads, it will be like thread 10, okay. Now, I don't want this name. I don't want this name. I want my customized name. Let it be like what? OCJP, I want that name. So, how can I get that one? It is so simple. It is what? The child class for thread class. In thread class, we are having these methods. These methods are available in our thread class, which is available in lang package. Okay. Now, how we can get that one? It is so simple. You just a dot set name put OCJP thread. Okay. OCJP thread thread now if i do call here thread dot current current thread it will give what ocjp thread why because i customize the name that is a method implementation internal implementation is available where it is available in thread class so if i use a set name if i call the set name a method by passing one of the string means it is going to customize the name for that particular creating our child thread which is going to get created in the memory okay now this is what internal implementation we are not having any implementation for these things these method implementations are available in thread class which are by default given to us by whom it will be having some uh, return something okay this method will be having some implementation later it will be having as the final step as return yes let it be this s yes, holds the name of the that particular thread okay now so by using this you can get the default thread name so now i have set the thread i mean i have set the thread name here now i want to get uh, by using this git name of course you can even get that one also it is so simple so just go here you just put SOP of SOP of SOP of directly put get name here it will give the name to you okay directly put get name so it will give here what once again uh, it will be like what OCJP thread other one will be as here also OCJP thread but what it is it is the default uh, method which is available in thread class what is what is this it is the I mean it is also one of the final method it is the static method which is used to get I mean which is used to give the thread name and it is what one of the instance method which is available in thread class to get the thread I mean thread name now let us go and uh, execute this piece of code okay now we are list bother about which thread main thread we are going to see that one later okay now let us go and execute this piece of code okay so now let us go and develop a class I have developed the class class here okay and uh, let me extend the thread class okay now we have to overwrite run method in order to assign the work which is related to our piece of or our source code okay now let it be like this okay now i'm going to start a thread okay in main method right now a dot start before i do start this one i'm going to set the name for that one as what set by using one of the final instance method of thread class like what ocjp thread okay guys yeah, try to focus this one carefully okay now the thread is going to get executed and now start method is going to i mean a start method is going to get executed internally it calls run method right now the control will come here okay now here i'm just writing some to debug statements that is system dot out data print and statements let it be like what default thread dot what is that current thread okay and what is the other one 
other one is what get name okay see here see here I'm writing here directly the get name why I'm writing that one directly means one one second see here you can write this one like what of course you can just take this one at class level okay as static okay about these things we are going to learn uh, in detail in our language fundamentals no need to worry okay so i can call this particular thing uh, like a dot get name also it is going to give the same output but before i go and discuss this one one important point is this one see here uh, this is what thread dot current thread here the output uh, description is something different and here the output description is something different i will tell see this uh, thread dot current thread is going to return what is that uh, particular thread name okay that is it if it is like a thread group it will put thread group if it is like a normal thread it will put as thread and uh, its name with priority as well as with the parent thread okay but whereas this get name is going to return only the name of the thread only the name of the thread try to focus so here the output will be as what do you know like uh, thread square open square brace what is the name of the thread ocjp thread okay priority default priority it is we are going to discuss that one okay it is what a default priority okay and parent thread of course main is the parent thread this will be the output for this particular thing and for this just ocjp thread is the answer guys okay okay that was the output description for that particular static method which is available in our thread class okay now okay now let us go and execute this piece of code okay now we have set the name as what ocjp thread and i have started the thread this is end of the main method okay now let me go and uh, compile and execute this piece of code java c a dot java okay now let me run this piece of code you can just check it here it is what a normal thread it is not the thread group and that thread name and what is this default priority and what is this parent thread and here why because we are getting this because of this method call a dot get name and one more thing i will take this reference it's very important guys i mean if you go for any higher technologies you will be seeing without call i mean without a, on any reference they will be calling methods how much you have to understand that one it's pure fundamentals okay still the output will be as what do you know let me tell uh, without uh, without any without uh, any explicit uh, reference okay explicit ref okay try to observe the screen carefully it will give still the output you can just check it here ocjp thread without any explicit reference okay reference how that one means i will tell see how that one means it's very important if you go for any higher technology as i will be using that one a great okay now try to observe this one guys here what is this get name right it has to call if you do analysis according to whichever we have discussed in earlier session you will get this one very easily now because of this statement what happens in the memory an instance has been created right an instance has been created what is the type of that instance underlying object type is what here a right so after creating an instance uh, of course there will be one hash code uh, which will be generated by the heap manager or else by the native hash code method of our object class okay so because of that you will be having what references that is a unique reference right so let it be like one two a b c okay okay and after that constructor is going to get execute when the constructor is going to get execute means what happens it identifies that is instant control flow is going to get uh, execute so as part of instance control flow all the instance members of uh, parent as well as the child are going to get identified by the jvm now it is going to get associate those methods with the current underlying object okay now what is the current underlying object corresponding class instance methods only this run method so it will associate this run method okay which is having implementation as what something okay our implementation okay this implementation okay now it is going to inherit even get name method also get uh, what is that set uh, name as well as all the static methods everything will be having it will be inheriting those things will be associating with this object okay tell me how many objects have been created in the memory of course to our knowledge as part of this main method only one object has been created okay this uh, right hand side evaluation has been done by our jvm now it is assigning what it is assigning it is assigning this particular reference to one of the identifier of type a okay now for a identifier 1 to abc will be the value okay 
which is of type what capital a okay now we can tell that this a is referring this instance indirectly right of course it is referring this particular instance which has been created in the memory indirectly right now what i am doing here a dot set name for this particular thing a dot set name i called a dot set name okay here we are going to pass argument okay string okay now so here what is happening for that particular thread whenever we creating an instance some internal things will get happen okay instance it is going to get inherit some of the few things from the thread class also so it is going to instantiate that is thread class particular instance uh, members will be having such ability because uh, if you are starting a thread means it is related to os program only right that that is having implementation in what c and c++ right now this thing has been happened now a dot start all the things are getting happening now we are calling directly get name so on which it is going to call that is very very important on which instance it is going to call how many instance has been created in the memory one instance so directly i can call that one directly i can call that method and i can pass that return value as the argument for the print line method internally two string method is going to get execute okay it's very very important guys and here you cannot call like what current uh, thread because it is a static method okay of course you can create the instance of thread class if you do create an instance of thread class means uh, within this class uh, which instance will be available to us i will let you know okay now if i do create uh, thread t is equals to new thread okay okay now even though if you call like this uh, nothing happens you have created an instance right of course static members will be available directly to whom to our class right so if i take this one as it is instead of this one still it will give the output to us okay let us check that one okay try to focus on this let me take just a current thread okay now let me go and execute this piece of code try to check this one okay now because static methods also available by default to our class right instead of accessing that way th thread dot current uh, thread we can access it right it is and all tricks guys you have to learn it if you are uh, good in memory representations uh, everything will be good for you i am sure that try to focus uh, on analysis try to try to learn uh, the concept at all corners okay now let it be thread and uh, let it be like this so that it will be easy for you guys okay now and also why we are getting all these things of course we extends the thread class that's why it is having the knowledge of that one and at run time at run time on i mean uh, underlying object will be associating with these uh, instance methods that's why we can call them okay that is also very important through memory representations you can learn all this uh, very easily okay now this is what uh, setting the name and getting the name now let us see one small example for main thread okay now let me know one thing so when the main method execution starts here when the main method execution starts okay